We have seen a spate of phishing attacks in the past few weeks. University staff are receiving emails that sometimes look very authentic and are from a reputable company or a trusted person. Fraudsters are attempting to use the coronavirus pandemic to their advantage by offering all sorts of scams and ways to make money. Password breaches happen all the time and it is vital that we respond accordingly to deal with this threat. It is sometimes very hard to constantly think up new passwords and passwords end up being reused. If hackers already have your password, they can break into more than one of your accounts. Whilst there is an existing infrastructure currently in place and is stopping many of these phishing attempts, every so often one or two may slip through the system, hence the need to introduce further security. UKZN will be enabling a two-factor authentication security feature, MFA. This leads us to the question, what is MFA? What is multi-factor authentication? It is a two-step verification that helps protect you by making it more difficult for someone else to sign into your Microsoft account. It uses two different forms of identity, your password and a contact method, also known as security information. Even if someone else finds your password, they will be stopped if they do not have access to your security information. This is also why it is important to use different passwords for all your accounts. There are two ways to enable the security feature. One being, you can opt in and enable and configure the feature by yourself. The other is to have your system administrator set up and enable the security feature on the server for you. The latter will be performed for staff at UKZN. Once you attempt to open a resource that requires your UKZN credentials, you will be prompted to enter in your UKZN email address. Select Next to move on to the next step. On the next screen, you will be prompted to enter in your email account password. Click on Sign In once you are done. When logging into a resource with your email address and password, you will be prompted by an additional screen. From the drop down menu list, choose Mobile App. You will then be asked how you would like to use the mobile app. Choose the option Use Verification Code. Then click on the Set Up button. On your smart device, open the tool to install software, namely Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Search for the Microsoft Authenticator app. Select the app from the list. Click on Install to install the app on your device. Click on Open. Complete the wizard. Select Scan a QR code. Give the app access to your camera by selecting OK. Scan the QR code on your computer screen. Once your account has been added on your device, return to your computer screen. Select Next. In step two, enter the one-time password code from the mobile app. Click on Verify to continue. Step three is in case you lose access to the mobile app. Select your country code from the drop-down list and enter in your mobile number. Your number will only be used for account security Standard telephone and SMS charges will apply. Click on Next to continue. Step 4 deals with app passwords. Once MFA is activated, it will generate a unique code. Copy this code and keep it safely as you will need to use it to access the various applications that are linked to your account. For example, Microsoft Outlook, Skype for Business, to name a few. Click on Finish 
to complete the installation. On the screen, you'll be prompted to enter in a one-time code generated by the Microsoft Authenticator app on your smart device. This one-time code is only valid for 30 seconds per session, and you will need to generate another code if your time has elapsed. Click on Verify once the code is entered in the field provided on your computer screen. The system will prompt you to choose yes or no as to whether or not you would like to stay signed in to your system with your account. Under best practice, you need to choose no, as this lowers the risk of others gaining access to your account, as the password will not be saved on the system. Stay tuned for more videos on this topic.